In a world where the dead walk the earth, you must fight to survive. Sounds familiar. The LP Channel Alliance is at it again. Introducing The Hunger Games! Ooh, ooh. Woo! So, what do we have here today? Well, like I said, we have The Hunger Games. We have, with me, Partially Royal! And Fat Planet, we are Team Daisy Duke, 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 Duke. On to my left, we have Star Snipe and his partner Taco, who is not in game yet, and he will be, but they are Team Rabbit. Team Rabbit. That was Team Rock Hard. Team Rabbit. No, it's Team Rabbit. We're going Team Rabbit. Yeah, also, he's not here because I ate him. Directly in front of us, we have Cage 848 and Zombie Turtle with Zombie Gaming. And you guys are team... Team Voldemort! <laughs> I proved this myself. Team Voldemort. All right. And over here, we have my wife, Mandy, with Chris, our commentator, with Fat Planet LP. And you guys are... Team Poltergeist. Team Poltergeist. Now, here, here's the issue behind this. Now, as you guys know, Mandy and Chris don't actually technically record. They're commentators with me so they're going to go ahead and form their own team and the reason we call them team poltergeist is because they aren't recording so we have no idea what they're doing whatsoever um i will make this issue or this statement right now and i solemnly swear that there's absolutely no cheating going on my wife has a laptop i cannot see it i will not cheat it would ruin the gameplay for me and for you so that's not going to happen okay you have my word on that um, the way this is going to go, all right, Hunger Games, Seven Days to Die, never been done before, we're the first ever, we're kind of proud of that, so we're going to do it right. The first, uh, day from 8 a.m. up until midnight is going to be PvP free, okay? We're going to be in our teams in separate areas, and we're going to start. And until midnight, we can just walk around, we can collect, we don't have any PvP to worry about. Once midnight hits, it's game on, okay? You have zombies to worry about, you have other teams to worry about, you have to be on your toes, all right? There's absolutely no digging, all right? You can remove the first layer, but that's it. You, you can't go any further down than that. Explosions, anything random, anything game-generated, that's fine, okay? You can't help that. But you cannot go any further down than the first layer yourself, all right? So there's no hiding in tunnels. Um, anything else is fine, weapon-wise, food-wise, whatever, and everything. Why are you in my face? <laughs> you have, this, like, the sexiest I, eyes, you know that? I, wa I, wanna know how, you. I want you to know how great this looks from, from over here. I, c I can just imagine. <laughs> I, I can just imagine. <clears throat> give, me, give me a kiss, you know you want with to. The sunset, with the sunset in the background. Yeah, yeah, the, the sun is shining oh, off your good. face. It looks wonderful. Yeah, I Thank need to teleport or some shit. But anyway, this oh, is how sure. this is how we're gonna do it. We're we're all congregated here. Uh, once we leave here, the server is gonna get reset. We're gonna spawn in our well, technically we're gonna run to our random areas, and we're gonna start the game. It starts at eight a.m. We're all recording in twenty minute sessions. Okay, uh, the Apocalyptic Studio, Partially Royal, Zombie Gaming, and myself at Planet LP. Every single one of us is putting up 20-minute episodes at the exact same time. If you guys have ever seen Minecraft and their UHC series, um, Partially Royal is um, putting up, you know, UH series uh, type material on his channel. It's all done the exact same way, okay? For fairness, we're all putting up videos at the exact same time on the exact same recording schedule. We do urge you to look at everybody's point of view, and that's the reason why we're doing this, okay? We don't want you guys just watching one particular point of view. We want you to see everybody's, because you're going to get different entertainment. And you guys are the most trolliest freaking people ever, I swear to God. Weed. Weed everywhere. <laughs> 420 blaze it. <laughs> Jesus. As you can tell, you're gonna get some you're gonna get entertainment and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be derpy. It's gonna be challenging. What more could you ask for? I'm about to roll this shit. Dude, here's some gunpowder. Sprinkle this on top of it. Oh god, it's it's quick nice. Oh god. So anyway, welcome to the Hunger Games. We hope you enjoy. And yeah. Are you guys ready to begin this? We'll see. Alright, let's go. Uh, 
um, get glitched out. No biome, but we don't, so. That's why we're here. Oh, big guy, big guy, big Ooh. guy. Oh, jeez. I got hit. Alright, I'm just gonna go to the next cabin down the road. Speed this up. Okay. I got a shotgun. Yeah. With uh, the f original clip in one shot. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I can shoot these guys back up. Let me sure you're searching the zombies. Uh, you know how to just press E and spam R, right? What do you mean, spam R? Uh, if you press E and then just hit R, it automatically exits the inventory and grabs everything in it. Oh, no, I didn't know that. That's cool. So it kind of helps with looting, for sure. Alright, are you up on the next cottage? The next college? cottage? Um, in the oh, area, know. yeah. I got zombies everywhere right now. I'm following you. Oh, God. Check these cars. I already got the cars. Alright. Uh, don't run too far ahead, because we're going to get lost. I know. I don't see you. Alright, this cabin's empty. Oh, you're in the farthest cabin? Yeah. They see me? Yeah, they're trying to make their way in here. Okay. I would just, I would get out before they start locking the door. Yeah, they're starting to lock the door. Yeah. I only got one shot left. God. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get out. Oh god, oh god, oh god, get off me, get off me. Oh, oh Jesus, one hit me. Um, I have two painkillers and two bandages, so. Okay. But we'll use those in a batter, a worse situation. Right, let me look at the map here. Uh. Okay. We need to go this way. See me? Okay, um, I got you. Let's go. Okay. That makes sense. I would pick up rocks as you go. Yeah. They could, they could come in handy. So, first day is yeah, not allowed to kill people. So, if you meet up with people. No, we're not allowed to kill people. Alright, you got a pistol with 11 yeah, shots. Uh, Shotgun's out of ammo, so. But we do have a shotgun and a pistol. Okay, good. Best thing for PvP would most likely be the rifle. My opinion. One shot kill headshot. Yeah, I'd like to find a sniper rifle. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. There's a sawmill over here to the right that might have some decent stuff in it. I think we just both grab the same rock. <laughs> Probably. Where are we gonna? We're just gonna go to the sawmill. Are we gonna head to Dyersville by any chance? Uh, okay. I, I would avoid it. All right, come here. I'll give you a pistol. All right, hold on. Collecting a tree. Are you just punch out the snow underneath it? I'm already almost done. Alright, I got some wood. Okay. I'm gonna make my rocks into stone. Put that on my hotbar. Alright, come here, I'm gonna give you a pistol. Alright. And there's the ammo right next to it, a little dot on the ground. Okay. And I have a submachine gun with 16 extra shots. I do have a submachine gun as well. Okay. I got clay. I can make a mold now, so if we ever want to craft into uh, craft something, it's not really going to come handy, but... We need to uh, collect some grass. I'm going to make a right. crossbow. Collect grass. And we're going to make some uh, board windows, right? Uh, yeah, it might be smart. Board ourselves into the... Perhaps the sawmill? Is the sawmill safe? I've never been in there. Uh, on the second floor would be fine, yeah. Lock up the windows. I don't want this stick in my hands. I want to punch it with a regular fist. 
How many uh, torches do we need? I'd say at least 20 to be safe. Okay. Do you make them in the plant fibers or no? Uh, grass you can. Do you make them into it and then you make the torches? No, you don't make the grass into uh, fibers. You use the grass specifically for torches. But grass can be right. turned into grass fibers. Yeah. All right, let's go over to the sawmill. What that? I got twenty grass. Should be fine. Now oh, we're gonna have to clear out the sawmill, aren't we? Yes. There we go. Killed the majority of them. Oh, I got a hunting shotgun. Nice. Higher range. More ammo. There we go. Collect some barrels. They do explode. That is useful. Yeah, you never know. Uh, hmm. Bunch of hunting rifle ammo, but no hunting rifles. Shotgun shell. Darn it. How are you on food and water? I'm okay. Boarded windows. Okay. So you want to board up the upstairs? Uh, board the downstairs too, it'll prevent zombies from getting in here as easy. Okay. Ordered windows. Like four boarded windows per window, it's crazy. Oh, I'll have to screw up. The house is never safe. Zombie trying to break through the garage. That's one boarding it up. All right. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. What? Uh, I guess I'll be all right. Oh well. Almost done boarding up the downstairs. Oh, you're not up here. No, we still got a few more windows down here. Okay. Oops. I think that's it. Yep, that's it for the downstairs. Um, oh, good. You can get up here. Uh, do we want to board up these windows for the crawler zombies? Uh, I haven't had any bother me in our other world. Okay, so we should be fine. Should be. So really, what it comes down to right now is staying alive. So what is the second day scenario? Where do we have to go on the second day? Uh, we don't have to go anywhere on a second day. Second day is when PvP is starts. Kill day. Yeah. Well, midnight. And yeah, in three and a half hours. Okay. Oh god. So I guess we can truck it out. Pop game plan. Mm -hmm. I'm making a crossbow first. Good idea. Um, I don't need bones. Bullet casings. I don't need. I got cloth fragments. Do you have any sticks? I have 488 sticks. Okay, I didn't make any sticks. I just made them all into freaking border windows. Okay. So, yeah. Oops, I didn't want to drop that. 
drop like half your sticks for me or whatever. That'd be perfect. Let's see if anybody dies during the night. Right? That would suck. So game plan wise, um, when we head to the desert, do you want to establish a base, uh, head over there tomorrow, and establish something, somewhat of a base? Uh, with, I like would With an oil trap or something? A lot of people are going to head over to that desert. Right away. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd rather spend my time looking for ammunition and, and weapons and Okay, so we really need a rifle. I got a submachine yeah. gun, I got a hunting shotgun. Hunting shotgun's probably better than the regular shotgun, right? More accurate. I would say so, yeah. I would like to do the sniper rifle, if possible. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, somebody probably already has one, but All right. All right, here, this is... That's for you. Let me make the Thank bolts. Thank you. How do you make the bolts? I have feathers and stuff. I have feathers right here if you need to. Do you more. have feathers? Okay, that's what I'm missing. I've got tons of stones. I just put them down to right here. Go. Okay. Car battery, scrap lead. And a dog food. I mean, I can't drop food. Okay, so we need to think of some tactics that might work. Um, obviously, sticking together is going to be the main tactic. Agreed. Um, rocket launchers, <laughs> if we get one of those. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, be... we'd have to be pretty close for that to work, or someone can just jump and run out of the way. True, true. I mean, they, they do add a little bit of holy shit, what am I going to do factor to the other team. Yeah, that is true. Especially if they set up a base, you just blow a hole in their wall. So this is, seems to be all looted. I mean, there's really no huge sense in us making, like, pickaxes or anything, so... Um, map-wise, where should we head after this one? Um, Probably right. stick to the outskirts, right? Not go to Dyersville, don't go to, like, main places. Correct. And avoid everybody at first. I think we should follow Arrowhead and hit some of these places along the way. Follow Arrowhead? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then... See, the thing with Arrowhead, it kind of heads in the... We need to at least start heading towards the desert, because it's day two where we have to be in the desert, so... Um, with them over Coronado, I doubt they're going to head over to Dyersville. They're probably going to head down 73. Probably. So we might get lucky and be able to hit Husker, if you want to risk it. Oh, it's PvP time. PvP time. Awesome. Let's go. Drink real quick. And we got about six minutes left. So I'm just going to clear my inventory of crap. I have 20 more brown grass, but I have no sticks, so you can have it. Uh, do you want me to give you half the sticks I got? Yeah. Good. There you go. Well, where are they at? Did you get them? I grabbed them. Oh, okay. Grabbed them. It scared me for a second. I was like, what? Uh, torch. There we go. I got and a big delicious can of chicken if you need it. And you just put the grass on top of it? Yeah, just top like you would the cloth. Okay, 20. Awesome. Oh, I just made sharpened sticks like a dipshit. Okay. So we have 220 sharpened sticks. We might as okay. well make some, okay. some wood spikes for some zombies. If There's 120 coming. regular sticks. Try not to sharpen them. I'm gonna get rid of like these candlesticks and stuff like that. We're not gonna be melting stuff. I'm gonna make wood spikes because they could be very handy to save us. Uh, what's it called? Bullets, because we could just drop them right in front of zombies as they yes. walk after us. Yes, so, that is true. Do you have any feathers? That'll work do that out too. Pretty, pretty well. I'm gonna drop extra stuff. Um, flashlight we don't really need, right? And actually, we might if we ever get in a sticky situation outside during the nighttime. Um, do you have painkillers? I do not have painkillers. Alright, so I'll drop half my pain, one painkiller and one bandage over here. So yeah, one painkiller, one bandage right here in front of me. I'd pick that up before it despawns. Those are gonna be mean. 
Uh, do we really where, need to grab iron or something? Right, right, right near the box, right here. Oh, okay. We can get this. So have those on your hot bar for sure. Yeah, they're there. Um. Wood spikes on my hot bar. Okay. Yeah, I have three. So I think we're pretty much hunky dory. How do you make the uh, spike club? That's pretty OP. You know? Um. Yes. Like the club. Let's see if I see it in here. I don't see it in here. I mean, I don't mm. think spike club's really going to come too much in handy besides zombies, so. Is it sharp and sticks? Um, like I said, though, do the wood spike mm -hmm. thing. Just place them down in front of them as they walk at you. You're going to kill two to three with one wood spike, so. Small rocks. Pretty damn useful. No, I don't think we have any threat rocks. of zombies over here. It's very quiet. Uh, I have 100 gas cans on me. Hundred. Uh, make those into barrels. Definitely use those to our advantage. Especially if somebody has like, I, I wouldn't doubt if one of the teams does set up like a base kind of thing. Um, we could easily blow holes in their walls. I have seven point six two millimeter bullets. Is that for the sniper? Or is that for the hunting rifle? Uh, the seven six two is for the hunting rifle. Seven six two is hunting rifle. Okay. You making those all into oil barrels? How many oil barrels does it make? A lot. A lot. You make it. Yeah. All right. I have 19 oil barrels. That's very good. That's a big explosion. I mean, if we do come to that scenario, we can make TNT. But I guess the people that started in the desert probably already have that idea. More than likely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh Jesus! Oh my God! I fell! I fell! I. Where are you? Help me punch this. I'm over here. I think you're safe. But you like instant death. I was like, that's not that far of a fall. Does this even show damage? Oh, well, I think you can hop over it. Oh, there we go. We oh my gosh. Okay. I just don't want to be stuck down there by myself in case one got through. I mean, in about an hour, we're going to be fine anyway, but... Alright, I'm not going to block that back up. That way we have a way down. Just, I'll keep my eye on it. Okay. Um, generally speaking, we're, we're pretty well set. I, I, mean, I don't know if any teams would be any better, but... You have a lot of good, good goodies. Yes. Yes, this is true. Still could use a sniper rifle. That would be ideal. Just pick them off from afar. Yeah, that would be nice. So there's still six alive. Nobody, everybody survived the first night. Uh, we can leave at seven o'clock, right? Yes, we can leave at seven. Okay. Do you want to just leave out these windows, just punch them out? Uh, I wouldn't, cause that's a heck of a fall. Is it? It is. All right, I'm just gonna go downstairs now. Okay. I'm trying to see where the best double, way out is. Double check all this stuff. Oh, we got more bullets. I would say, yeah, punching the wood here would probably be the the quickest. That wood right there where the zombie's breaking through already? Mm-hmm. Here in a second. Yeah, don't go yet. Don't go yet. Because here in, like, 27 seconds is going to be the mark of the episode. Oh, yeah, okay. You're right. Yeah, because I got to announce it. You got to tell them. Yeah, right, so I got to regulate. There's an oil barrel over here. Uh, grab it. We got, okay. We got, like, 20-something. I think we're all right. Well, one more can't hurt. Eleven more shots. And no, we don't need freaking trophies or anything. Okay. Okay. Twenty minute mark. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the first episode. Make sure you check back. Shit's gonna go down for sure. It is. It is. Definitely. We'll see you at episode two.